Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome Hannah, our special guest today. We are going to do our part one of the Nordstrom anniversary haul. So Hannah is going to start because she's cold. So she wants to show you something that she can then undo so she can use. And then she will take you through everything she's gotten so far. We do, like I said, we will have a part two because we do have more items coming uh, I think tomorrow, Friday, so today is Thursday the 13th. So I've got some things arriving tomorrow and also Saturday, uh, I think one other item next week just because it's coming directly from the manufacturer. But anyway, we will do a part two. So this is what we have thus far. So Hannah, take it away. Okay, well, I can talk about it. I would love for you to talk about it. Well, you are the one who got it, I guess. You can talk about it. Okay. So this is the UGG throw. So Hannah can attest, we have many Barefoot Dreams blankets. Yeah, too many. Too many. You can never have too many blankets, people. And so I decided this year we would try UGG. So this is the UGG Whistler, I think is the, I don't know, anyway. This is the color charcoal. It is $65.99 in the sale, and he covered up the original price, so I don't know what the original price is. If I had to guess, it's probably like $99, so. long but I wouldn't say it's super wide like it's not let me, so it's only this wide it's not it's not in other words it's 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 definitely a throw so I don't know if it says the dimensions on here but your thoughts it's very soft I like it comfy cozy yes all right well she's going to uh have that on her lap for the rest of the video <laughs> here at least or at least her portion I got these Zella shorts which I've had before um, I just got them again. They're gray. I don't know what the style is, but... And there's a weird thing on the back. It's a little pocket thing. So a little can, pocket thing, yep. Yeah, so you, you, you know, you're, if you're going to the gym, you can like put your key locker, or your locker key, there we go, in there. Or, yeah. yeah I've put AirPods in the back before. There you go, or AirPods. It doesn't stay very well, but it's okay. Um, this shirt is BP. And what's his name? Colson. He found or they found it for me, and it was very nice. And you saw that in the try on, I think. You'll you will have seen that in the video from yesterday where I did the vlog. It was a good on. pick though, and it's just black. And yeah. And it was. Oh, I forgot the price. Okay. I'll do this. One. Normally twenty nine dollars on sale for nineteen ninety nine, so twenty. And the shorts were normally forty five, and another. 25. Awesome. Um, this shirt we ordered and it's from Urban Outfitters, but look, it's some like weird other brand. Yeah, BD, BD Jeans, whatever. Anyways, it's like a blue gray and it's a little distressed, I guess. Yeah. Very cute, cute. Um, and then this one I was very excited for. It's a pack some sweatshirts and oh, we can't even see the price. Anyways. It's light blue and it says Pacific Sunwear and like whatever. <laughs> and it's pack sun. Yeah. And it's oversized. Except the neck is really weird. It's like tight, but it's okay. Very pretty color. And then there's this sweater from Open Edit. Which and Colson also found for you, right? Because this was not one that you Well, I kinda pointed it out, but oh. yeah. But when you went to go look with them. Yeah. Right. Um, it was originally 59 and now it's 39 or 40, I guess. So yeah. Nice v-neck, Hannah likes v-necks. Yeah, I don't really like on sweaters otherwise. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure you saw her try that on too. Probably. And would you like to model? Cause you're wearing something oh. that you got too. She's already I can't really. sporting. <laughs> They're Nike shorts, very exciting. Okay, well as you can see, Hannah has left us. I have a lot to go through, so I'll try to do this as quickly as possible. I will also put up mod shots here as I get to more of the like actual clothing pieces. But I'm gonna start out right now with beauty, which is what is sitting next to me. So we got the 
Olaplex shampoo and conditioner in these gigantic sizes. So if you know Olaplex, if you use Olaplex, you'll know this stuff can be pretty pricey. So it was a pretty good value on the anniversary sale. As you can see, they were $77 each, a $96 value. This honestly will probably last me the entire year because I only wash my hair once a week. So honestly, actually the shampoo might even last me longer than that. So those are the first items from Olaplex. Next up is this set by Diptyque. I think I mentioned this in my wish list part of the preview video. This comes with a travel size of Fleur de Peau, which you guys know is one of my favorites. Eau Rose. I have not tried that fragrance, so I think I will probably try that at Nordstrom before I open this box. I don't want to waste, you know, somebody else being able to buy this if I don't like Eau Rose. And also Orpheon or, or I'm sorry, Orpheon? Or anyway, forgive the French. My point is I have tried that fragrance and I do like it quite a bit, but I have not, like I said, tried the Eau Rose. So I want to try that before I actually open this. I mean, even if I open it, I know I can return it, but I don't want to do that. So I'm planning on going back to Nordstrom, I think today anyway. So I will stop at the Diptyque fragrance counter and give Eau Rose a try and then we'll see how I feel. But this was $78 and it says it's a $110 value. Next up is this New Face Mini. Again, I mentioned that I was going to be picking this up during my preview video, and it is was $165. So it comes with the actual, obviously, New Face unit. It comes with a bottle of the conductive gel that you need to use. It comes with a brush to apply it with, which I am very appreciative for because just the gel when you put it on your fingers, it's just like sticky and then you gotta wash your hands. I realize it's a first world problem, but I appreciate that they're now including a brush and the Firming and Brightening Silk Cream. Three in one moisturizer, firms, brightens, and instantly hydrates dull, dehydrated skin with eight phytoactives. Next up in beauty are the Jo Malone hand wash. You can also use them, I think, as like body washes as well, but we use them for hand soap in like our guest bath as well as our kitchen. I got one in the English Pear and Freesia and one in the Wood Sage and Sea Salt, but these are great and they are a great value. They're $55 each and the value is $74. I would say it's probably even more than that. I think that the uh, these are 16.9 ounces and I think the eight ounce bottles that they normally carry are like $60. So I, I honestly think that this is even cheaper than if you buy the smaller regular size. So definitely a great value on the sale. And I think less, if I'm correct, in beauty is the GHD two inch straightener or styler. I mentioned this again as one of the things that were going to be on my wish list in the preview video. And I really wanted a wider plate straightener. One, just obviously with longer hair, the bigger the iron plates are, the faster you can straighten. But also I think that this will be great for making more like kind of looser waves when I wanna use it as a more of a styling wand. So I'm pretty adept at using my like just one inch straightener to curl my hair. So I think this will be even better and I won't have to worry about it being quite so tight. So definitely looking forward to using this and I will let you know how it goes. All right, next let's get into a couple of home products. I will probably do a little more shopping in the homeware section. As I mentioned in the vlog when I was doing my sort of wrap up at the end when I was editing, I told you that I didn't have a chance to actually go to the homeware section. So I would like to check that out in person. But a couple things that I had on my wish list that I knew I wanted were these basket weave kitchen towels. We just have, have like a couple of ratty old <laughs> kitchen towels, which are fine for right now. You know, it's so dusty and everything in here. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna break these open yet until, certainly until at least we are in the kitchen proper and actually had use of our full kitchen, but I just thought these were nice. They'll go, you know, with the general theme that we're going for as far as the condo renovation. And these were a good price. These were, uh, 
I feel like they were like 19, 18 dollars, something like that, and they're normally 25, and it is a set of four. And the other item that I got was this beautiful either cheese board or, you know, like display board. I think this will look great out on our kitchen counter to, you know, maybe put some, a candle on and some other sort of decorative pieces. But then when, if we're having guests over and we're doing like a cheese tray, something like that, this will look beautiful. So I just, it's a really good, beautiful piece of wood. This is, it's a 21 inch wood serving board and Fortunately, I do not have the price handy here. I feel like it was maybe 29, 34, something like that. I'll, I'll put the prices up on the screen as I'm editing, but great piece. I bought this actually as part of a graduation gift for Jack's ex-girlfriend. Yeah, don't get me started. But anyway, uh, I bought this as part of a college graduation gift for her last summer and thought it was beautiful. So thought I would add one for us this year. Next, I'm going to go over a few like lingerie, uh, pajama type things that I got in the sale. So I do, and I did talk about this uh, in my preview video, I do like to pick up the Moonlight pajamas. I actually wore this pair last night, which is why they're out and uh, not packaged nicely anymore. But I got the, I got two pair of the short sleeve with shorts combo. And these are super soft. I did mention in my video that I have tried the Target ones. And while I think that the the quality is probably the same and the fabric feels just the same, I had a really bad problem with the shirts shrinking like in length, like an incredible amount so that when I wear them, they're like just hitting the top of the waistband of the shorts. And I don't like that feeling, especially when I'm sleeping. So I went back to getting the Moonlight ones because I just, I haven't had that shrinking problem that I had with the Target ones. So I got this pair in the gray. And then I also got, so this was how it was originally packaged when it came from Colson. So I also got the pink, which I think is so pretty. This is definitely a new color for the sale and for these pajamas, but you know, it's all about Barbie right now. So these are the pink Moonlight pajamas and they were $59 after the sale and they are 41 or 40.99 during the sale. So that is another pair with the shorts. And then I got one pair of the full length pants and long sleeve shirt the black with the white you know, piping is a classic. So you can see these just have the long sleeve on them. And like I said, these are the long pants. They've got a drawstring waist, so you can cinch that in. They are going to be $75 after the sale, $49.99 or $50 during the sale. And I did pick up some more of the True & Co bras. I tend to wear this style the most. So this is the black in the like T strap. I like this. These are great for like a racer back tank top. So I tend to wear a lot of those in the summer. So I got another black one. I do need to pick up actually another nude color or nude for me, but it's just, you know, a thin strap. Looks like that in the front. I do take out the pads just because I don't need the padding and I, I don't know. I know some people like to keep them in for like modesty, but I don't really seem to have an issue with that. So that is the first one I got. And then I'm trying a new style. They called it like the lift or something, the new lift V-neck. So this is more of a thicker strap and more of a traditional strap style. So it's not, you know, I wouldn't wear this with those tank tops, but you know, a regular t-shirt, etc. I haven't tried these on yet, so I assume I will take the pads out, but I don't know that 100%, so I got that in the black as well as the nude for me. So those were my pajamas slash lingerie items that I picked up. Okay, and last but not least, before we get into the clothes and I'll show you the rail and everything and some styling, 
I will show you the two accessories that I got. So one is a pair of earrings and you did see me pick these up again in the vlog. And so I did decide to get, these are the Jenny Bird. I have not heard of this brand before. They are going to be $98 after the sale, but they are $61 during the sale. And again, like I said, these remind me of the Tiffany hardware earrings. Obviously they are, you know, more dainty. They're not quite as, they don't have the same presence, obviously, as the Tiffany hardware earrings do, but I just thought they would be really pretty. So got these. I like the mixed metal because I can wear it with whatever I'm wearing. And then the other item I got was this pair of Celine Sunnies. So you will have seen I tried on three pair of Celine Sunnies. Two of the Celine ones were the exact same style, but one was in the all black and one was in the black top tortoise bottom. Hannah voted for the black. Just to show you what's in here. We've got a care booklet, a cleaning cloth, and then there was more of a kind of a square oversized frame Celine pair. And then finally I tried on a Fendi oversized square pair, which just gave me a little too much 70s vibe. So those I kind of eliminated immediately. So I was down basically to the three Celine pair. And this is the pair I got. I went with Hannah's recommendation, which are the all black. These have the three dots on the side, very classic for Celine. This flat top is also a very classic style for the Celine line. And yeah, I liked these a lot. And I, these were $2.99 during the sale. And I feel like they were maybe $4.50 before or after the sale. So a good $150 savings on these. So those are the sunglasses that I got. So I started to get up to go do the stuff on the rail and I realized I totally forgot about shoes, which is this bag that's sitting behind me. So let's get into that. So I got several pairs of shoes. Most of them I think I talked about on my preview video. So the first are from Steve Madden and these are the mules. These are his classic mule. He comes out with them every year. I also have them in sort of a camel colored suede from last year. I meant to get the black ones last year and I waited too long and they were out of my size. So as I think you saw in my try on or in the vlog video, I mentioned that the Amazon ones are not the most comfortable shoe. So I really wanted to get the Steve Madden pair and I will donate those other ones. But anyway, just have a slight heel on them. They've got a nice, you know, rubber tread. They're super easy to walk in, very comfortable and a great shoe. I will also have everything linked below. Just so you know, those are not affiliate links, uh, but you know, if they help you shop, then please feel free to use them. So this is the another pair by Steve Madden. So I got three pair of shoes from Steve Madden and then one from Rag and Bone. So I did end up getting the ballerina sort of style flats, although they do have a little bit of a heel, a little more heel, I think, than the Chanel ones do, but it's, you know, very reminiscent of the Chanel ones with the, you know, nude and then the black toe cap. And yeah, you know, we'll see. I probably do need to break these in a little bit. And all of the Steve Madden ones I got in an eight and a half. And I think that's the same for the rag and bone, but yeah, I liked these. And like I said, we will give them a go. I lied. The third pair is not from Steve Madden. These are the Nordstrom brand. I don't even know what that is. Normally it's like open edit or whatever, but I did end up getting these nude sort of low slingbacks. They're basically a flat, but with the slingback, they do have an adjustable uh, thing on for your heels. So if you need to make it tighter or looser, where they're set right now seem to be perfect for me. But yeah, and then again, a rubberized sole, very comfortable perfect to wear with jeans or skirts, well, honestly, anything. They're just a great nude shoe that will honestly go with just about anything in your wardrobe. And these did come in other colors, but I really thought that the nude or nude for me would be perfect. And the last pair, as I mentioned, is from Rag and Bone. These were those sneakers. They are the Retro Court sneaker 
Uh, these are in the tornado gray suede. And these, you guys, I don't think I filmed this during the try on part of the vlog, but it, they are so comfortable. So if you are looking for a little more of an upscale sneaker and you don't want to spend like Chanel or Louis Vuitton or Fendi prices or even Loewe prices, I would definitely check these out. These are a little spendier, you know, they're $200 during the sale. They're probably $350 if I had to guess after the sale, but definitely much, much less than the other brands that I mentioned, Lueve being honestly the least expensive of those brands. And I believe the Flow Runners are $780. So these are $200, right under $200. I think a great value. They just say Rag & Bone New York on the back there. But like I said, super comfortable. They came in like maybe five or six colors. I just don't have a gray sneaker in my collection, so I thought this would be perfect, and I am very much looking forward to wearing these. Welcome to my rail. <laughs> so, and I am dressed very casually right now, but like I said, you'll see me in some try-ons. I will insert overlays, whatever, so you can see some of these items. 90% of what you see on this rail and the jeans that I'm gonna show you were purchased online. There were very, I think this sweater, this white sweater, this jacket, the plaid jacket, and the leather trench, I think are literally the only things that I bought in store when we went for our shopping experience. And if you watched the vlog, if you haven't watched the vlog, I will link that up above here. But the bottom line is that the flagship store here in New York just didn't order didn't like actually bring in a lot of the sort of mid tier or even like Nordstrom house brand items. So like Halogen, Caslon, the CC tops that I mentioned, which are not Nordstrom brand, but they're in what they call their POV or point of view department. And so they didn't bring any of that stuff in. So I basically had to order all of it. And I do, like I said, have quite a bit more coming in the next two days. So I do will do a follow-up video. I have a couple of other items that I am either exchanging sizes for or will tell you that I like them, but I don't love them. And so they're also probably gonna go back, but we'll, we'll talk about that. So the first item on the rail here are these kind of a dressier short from Topshop actually. And I really like the length of these. Like I said, I will pop some styling photos up for you. So I ordered these in two sizes. One, which I would say is sort of my normal size. And then I ordered one size down because the website said that they ran big. Now I actually watched another content creator's video. She had also picked up these and mine hadn't arrived yet. And she mentioned she was wearing like her usual size. And she's like, but you guys, I'll say, I think they run a little small. And they, I mean, they were, I mean, they fit her, they were fine, but she didn't have any extra room in the waistband. And so I was very, very glad that I didn't like completely pay attention to what the website said and only ordered the size down because had I done that, there's no way those would have fit. So just kind of like her, I would say that I think these run just slightly small. Like they fit me, they fit me like a glove, like almost like if they were tailored for me. But you know, if I gain five pounds or eat a little too much one night, these are gonna be a little uncomfortable, but I think they're great. They're a really nice weight. They're, you know, I'm sure some sort of poly blend, but I really think they're very flattering. And I think if you're looking for a dressier short, so if you're doing something, you know, during the summer that you don't necessarily want to wear a dress for, but you're obviously you need to be a little more dressed up. I think this styled with, as you'll see me, I'll grab a black blazer from my wardrobe and throw that on with this, I think is great. Um, you could obviously, honestly even style it with this gray plaid blazer. So maybe I'll do that. But anyway, these I would highly recommend, but don't pay attention to what Nordstrom says. Definitely get your true size, don't size down. 
Okay, the next item was a complete surprise to me. I ordered this just kind of on a whim. I saw nobody talk about it, but let me tell you guys, grab these pants. So they are by Zella, and I don't even know how to describe the fabric to you, but they're stretchy. But you guys, when you put these pants on, they look like a dress pant, but they feel amazing. They're not, so I'm wearing the Zella Living Joggers right now, and I'm, I'm like feeling my leg <laughs> to tell you if it's the same fabric. This is a little, I would say, more leans more towards a scuba knit, kind of, but not a true scuba knit. So I got these in my, you know, normal size large. They do have a little split on the side of the hem, but they are just a pull-on pant. They've got uh, zip pockets on the side. So, you know, you want, you know, it's a very clean look. And again, you'll see these on me, but I, they just, they fit fantastic. They feel amazing. I would highly, highly recommend these. Love the way they fit. Okay, now moving into some like shirts and sweaters. So we're getting more into the top area. I have a lot more tops coming in part two. Again, they didn't have like any of the CC tops. They didn't have the halogen or the Caslon. So all that stuff had to be ordered separate. So you'll see those, like I said, coming in part two of the haul. But the first item, and I'm very glad I picked this up, was this one dot state or one state ribbed v-neck top. So hopefully you can see the ribbing on the fabric there. And then they have these really pretty sheer sort of butterfly sleeve. And you guys have seen me wear a lot of tops recently that have this kind of style where it's just you know, sort of a plain t-shirt, but then it has, you know, sort of a puffed sleeve or again, sort of this kind of flutter sleeve. And I love that detail. I think one, I think it looks nice on me. I think it looks really great on camera, <laughs> but it's just, it's, it's a, an elevated basic, right? It's an elevated t-shirt. This is just your kind of basic v-neck t-shirt, but with this just really pretty trim. These do come in, I think, this does come in cream and I think maybe like a kind of a burgundy. I did get my sort of normal size large. It is stretchy, but I will tell you it is definitely cut close to the body. So it is definitely a fitted shirt, but it doesn't feel tight because of the fabric that it is and the stretchiness. It just, like I said, it hugs the body, but it's not tight. Hopefully that helps. And again, you'll see me style it. All right, next up is the infamous, as I said, Hunter, or not Hunter, Ellis shirt from Rails. So I have this shirt already in white. It was a perfect shirt that I took to Europe when David and I went a couple years ago. It was great to like just throw over a tank top or over like a tank top dress just to give it, you know, a little more something just to cover my shoulders if it got cool, something like that. So this I do wear in a large, both my white one and I have kind of a chambray-ish blue looking one. Uh, again, the same sort, sort of this gauzy fabric. Hopefully that's coming off on camera, but they're really nice, light and airy. They're, like I said, a perfect shirt to wear, you know, over a tank top. I mean, you can wear them by themselves too. Just a little tip, I do stick a little piece of fashion tape on both of mine, just right in here, just to make it sure it stays closed, you know, across the girls. But uh, 168 after the sale and 110 basically during the sale. So highly recommend. I think that there was this color and maybe one, one, maybe two other colors in the Ellis style, but a great shirt. The white one is a must have if you don't have it, it's not on the sale, but would still highly recommend even at full price. All right, moving into some sweaters and I do have this one also coming in cream. This is just your classic, you know, sort of kind of an oversized turtleneck. I, honestly, I think sort of the way you wear this is just kind of like not folded over. It just sort of like kind of flops for a better lack of a better word, but it's just an oversized black sweater. It's super soft. It's, you know, I'm sure it's like a cotton acrylic or something blend, you know, nothing like overly special about it. It's just a great 
overall sweater, you know, good price on the sale. Um, you certainly could size down in this if you want to, if you want a little more less oversized. I got my normal size just because I like an oversized fit. This is by Treasure and Bond. It'll be $59 after the sale. I'm guessing it was probably 39 or something. Again, prices on the screen. So anyway, great one. Like I said, I also do have it coming in cream. All right, so this little sweater from BP, I actually did pick up in the store. I originally wanted it in the black, but they only had it in an extra large. And I tried this one on just so I could see the size difference and I actually really, really liked the cream. So I do have a black one coming, uh, but I thought I liked it so much that I would get it in both colors. I tend to do that. So this is a little bit cropped. So that's one of the reasons why I was like, well, let me try the extra large because I don't want something that's like super cropped. This is not super cropped by any means. It, it, you know, if you're wearing a mid to high rise pair of jeans, whatever, this works perfectly with it. So I love this, you know, zipper detail, but this is a, you know, a shaker, kind of your basic shaker knit sweater. Um, there's no waistband at the bottom. You do have uh, at the cuffs, but not on the bottom, which like I said, kind of gives it that boxy oversized feel, but a little bit cropped and Let's see if these have prices on them. So it was $35 during the sale, $59 after the sale. All right, this was a piece that I told you about in the preview video, and I love this. This is super lightweight. Like you could wear this all buttoned up and it be, you know, with like those black pants that I just showed you and be, you know, pretty pulled together and kind of dressy. You could pop this over a tank top and a pair of jeans and look a lot, you know, just elevate that. Like, I just think that this is a perfect little top. So it's very lightweight. It's really a knit. I would say it's really, it it presents itself as a jacket or like, you know, like a blazer or a cropped jacket, but it's really more of a cardigan, I would say, or that's the drape that it has. So it's, it's really just a knit. It's not a woven. So, but it's got, you know, sort of that classic Chanel button, you know, style in this great gray and black. This is by Nick and Zoe or Zoe. I got mine again in a large, it has no price on it. So it'll be up on the screen, but yeah, great find. Didn't have this in store. Like I said, had to order this online, but would highly recommend. All right, getting into some blazers or jackets. This was one again that I talked about that I wanted to try. This is the oversized gray plaid blazer from Treasure and Bond, but it's just a classic, you know, sort of oversized boyfriend blazer, pretty lightweight, I would say, you know, it's, it's more of like a cotton poly blend. Probably there's no wool in here or anything. So, you know, not going to be overly warm, but you know, certainly great in the fall as a transition piece. It does need to be steamed a little bit. I see there, but again, great with jeans great with those black pants to dress it up just a little bit. I mean, just again, a great overall blazer. All right, this next blazer is not an oversized fit at all. This is from Treasure and Bond, and this is actually a dark wash denim. And it is listed as like an hourglass shape, and you'll hopefully be able to see that in the try-on. But this is definitely cut to follow the lines of the body. It is not oversized. If you want it oversized, I would definitely recommend going up. I got this in my normal size and I like it. It does have shoulder pads. This one definitely has more of a defined shoulder, so you really get a nice strong shoulder, not like Balenciaga hourglass jacket you know, or bomb on. We're not, we're not going that extreme, but you know, it does give a nice line to the shoulder, but I love the way this looks again, great to throw on with some, those black pants. You'll see me obviously style those a lot, but I just, I love the fit of it. I love the wash of it. I think it is a perfect way instead of doing like, you know, your classic denim jacket, throw this on and it is just, you take it up a notch. All right, this is one that I mentioned again in the preview video. This is the one of the jackets from Cut From The Cloth. It's this really nice faux suede drapey fabric. They carry these every year in the sale and they change up the different colors. I don't remember what other colors these came in, but I thought this hunter kind of green would be unique for my closet. Not 100% sure on this one. I, you know, will show you it in the try on, but 
I'm kind of on the fence about this one. So I'll look back at it in the footage and, and see what I think. But you know, it's your classic moto jacket style. It's got the asymmetrical zip on it. You do have some nice detailing here. They do have, you know, zip side pockets, which are nice, but it, and there is some stretch to this. So it's just a really nice, I wouldn't say lightweight, but because it has a little more drape to it, it's not like a typical moto jacket, which can feel, you know, a little constricting and heavy because it's a heavy, you know, or a thicker leather. This is, like I said, a faux suede and it's got a really, really nice hand to it. Okay, now we're gonna get into outerwear. The first piece is this Zella sort of rain jacket. It's got some nice detail though. It's got, um, you know, quite a few pockets on it, sort of some cargo pockets. It does have the drawstring on the inside so you can you know bring in the waist and then the hood has this like quilting pattern on it which is nice but I needed something kind of like spring or early fall that I can wear that's lightweight that is rain resistant and I did just notice that actually you can zip off the hood if you don't want to wear it and let me see if we have prices on here we only have the original so 169 after the sale and whatever price it says on the screen after the sale. Okay, here are a couple of ones that I'm kind of a little either iffy about or probably going back. So the first is this plaid, you know, wool blend something jacket, coat, I should say. This is by Avec Lafay. I did get this in a large. It's just not giving me what I wanted it to give. The one thing that I would say that I also don't like about it is it's not lined. So like when you're sticking your arm through, like your sleeve gets stuck. So you gotta make sure to like hold it like this when you're putting it on. And because it's not lined also then if you wear something, you know, like a sweatshirt like this, like it just sticks inside the sleeve. I think this would have been a lot better if they had lined it. It just would have, I think, laid better. It's not a bad coat, but for I think one, maybe 79 or something like that during the sale. It just, it was just meh for me. It, it just, it, it didn't give me what I wanted. I have an olive trench coat from Zara that you guys have probably seen me style before that I love, but I thought, you know, I really want more of a classic color and a little more streamlined. That one is like super oversized, which I love. It's very like drapey and flowy, which is great. But I thought I wanted something a little more classic. So this is the Lauren by Ralph Lauren brand. And while I like it in theory, there are two things that I hate about it. One and mostly are these pockets. So I wanna be able to use a pocket. Okay, especially in jackets. So you have to unbutton this to be able to use them. Well, when you do that, this thing like flaps in the wind, as I like to say, and it just makes your hips look enormous. It's just not flattering. I think these epic tacks, ep ep whatever these things are called, like they're just a little stiff. So they, again, just kind of, I don't know. It's just the fabric I think also is a little stiff. It needed to have a little more drape. I, I just, yeah, it, it's not happening. Another one by Lauren, by Ralph Lauren, is this beautiful wool coat. I think it's wool, maybe wool blend. And it's got this really pretty detailing on it. So it's got like a faux leather on the collar here and a little faux leather trim on the pockets, which are sewn shut right now. But it's just, it's a length of coat that I don't have. So most of my like wool winter coats, first of all, I have two that are very much oversized. So I have a camel one, and then I have a plaid one, which I get tons of compliments on. It's like that gray plaid. I, I know you guys saw me wear it this winter because it was like one of the only coats I had here. Uh, and those are more oversized. And then I do have a more fitted camel coat. So a little bit of a dressier, but all of those are more long. They're basically like low to mid shin length. This one comes like just to the knee or just right above the knee. It is the epitome of quiet luxury, like this scream succession and all that. But it's just a very clean lined coat. It does have a vent in back, although I didn't open it. 
uh, because I am gonna size up in this because while this fits, I want a little more room, especially so I can wear like sweaters under it. So I did order this in a size up, so I will just exchange that. But great coat, beautiful on, I would definitely recommend this one. And then the final coat before we get into jeans, you saw me, if you watched the shopping vlog, this coat, this, it's a faux leather trench by or double breasted coat from Avec Lafie, chef's kiss. First of all, it just, the faux leather just drapes beautifully. The only thing that is not chef's kiss about this that I will take off immediately and never ever wear, as I mentioned, is this stupid, what, what is this? It's, this is like a limp spaghetti noodle. Like, why would you put this? I mean, just the proportions are just wrong. Why would you put this belt? Anyway, it's neither here nor there, but I love the coat. It's beautiful. I love the way it looks on. It's very, kind of gives you matrix vibes, but yeah, gorgeous. Highly recommend. I think this one was also, it, actually, I don't even think it was 149. Um, no, it wasn't. This one was the one that was 200 after the sale and 110 during the sale. Uh, this, you guys, is a steal. I would grab this coat, run, don't walk. Last but not least, let's talk jeans. And I have to say, these jeans were a home run. Like, I nailed it in the jean department. I may have had definitely some misses here, and I'm sure I will have some misses in the stuff that's coming, you know, Friday and Saturday. But these, I, like, nailed it. So, <laughs> the first pair is by Wit and Wisdom. They're called the Skyline Barely Boot but they are a little more of a kick flare, I would say. So they do have a distressed hem on the bottom, which I do need to cut because I want them to hit like just above the ankle. And right now they're like just hitting below the ankle, like right at the almost top of the foot. I think it's a 28 inch inseam. For me, I like a 27 inch inseam when I want that like just showing off my ankle look. So. I love these, but you'll see they're, I, to me, I think they're a little long, but love these jeans, love the stretch. They're amazing. $59 during the sale, 88. They're not even expensive after the sale, but like I said, definite great one. Then I have two from Cut From The Cloth. This first one is the High Rise Reese Fab Ab Ankle Straight Leg. That's a lot to say. Now these, um, I have another pair coming, which are also, I think, no, the other one I have coming is a straight leg in the Rachel cut. I don't know the difference between the Reese and the Rachel, but this other pair that I have here is a Rachel. And then I ordered a pair that's also a Rachel that's a straight leg uh, distressed hem. I love the wash on them, but you can see they've got a little whiskering up at the top and you know they're a little bit of a free kind of hem but they're not cut right so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with these if i'm going to leave these the length that they are i don't remember what the inseam was but again the fit on them are amazing just loved everything about them and i got all of these basically in my true size these are the other cut from the cloth ones that i have right now like i said i have another pair coming and i I think I also have, oh, I have a pair of AG jeans coming and maybe one other Wit & Wisdom or anyway, I have a couple more jeans at least coming. These are the High Rise Rachel Fab Ab Mom Jean. These have a little bit of distressing. You can see again, another bit of whiskering, but this one on the right uh, leg has this distressing on the knee. There's a tiny little bit here kind of up by like the crease of your leg on the left hand side and then they have these cuffed a little bit again if i want them to hit me how i want them to hit me i may just cut the bottoms of these but i'm gonna see how i like these compared to the other rachel pair that i have coming tomorrow all right another pair of wit and wisdom these are just a straight leg just like a washed like a gray which i think is great um i needed a pair of gray they just have a plain bottom on them again very stretchy just love the way they look just a great pair of jeans these are 50 dollars, you guys during the sale 78 after 
And then the one splurge pair that I bought right now is from Rag and & Bone. And these are the Clover Featherweight Logan pants. So these are a wide leg, which you can see, and they are really drapey. Now these are an actual denim. I did order directly from Rag and Bone because I did it before this, I, I think before the preview, so they should be here any day now. But I bought, they do this same style in like a printed jean. So remember when Chanel did that, those jeans and a couple of the bags that had the quilting, but it was printed on, there's a name for it, Trump. Hey, Trompeels, something French that I don't know how to pronounce, but it's basically where they print on and it looks like something. And those are supposed to be like the most comfortable pair of pants. They're a pull-on style, but they look like they literally put the entire thing on. So it looks like it has a fly and, you know, a button and pockets and whatever. They printed the whole thing on. I Michelle Wong did a review on them and she's like, oh my God, they're the best pants I've ever worn. So I wanted to try a pair, but they make this, that same style, this, this um, Logan style in a regular jean too. Now I do think these are mid rise, again, wide leg. I may, first of all, I want to compare them to the ones that I ordered directly from Rag and Bone. Obviously these are less expensive because they're on anniversary sale, although not by a whole lot. Uh, but I also wanna maybe see if they have these in the size down. I think these are gonna stretch out. They're already kind of a little loose. I mean, obviously they're wide legs, so they're gonna be loose in the legs, but even everywhere else. So I'm afraid that if they stretch out, they're gonna get kind of baggy. So I may see if I can order these in a size down and compare in addition to comparing to the pair that I'm getting from Rag and Bones. So like I said, we'll, we'll just see which one I like better. So anyway, that is it for the haul so far. I have no idea how long this video is, but thank you for sticking with us. If you made it all the way through, uh, pop a jean, pair of jean emoji in, in the comments below and let me know that you made it through. But like I said, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've shopped the sale yet, what did you pick up? I'd love to hear what other people got in the sale. And if you have something that you wanna recommend, I would love that too. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload videos, which is a little off schedule and a little more often right now because of the Nordstrom sale. So make sure you click the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That does help the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't had enough of me yet, I will pop another video up here on the screen for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.